Hello, everybody. I'm Sebastian Cintron with The Nocturnal. And joining us here today, we have the lovely Jackie Cruz. Some of you guys might recognize her from Orange is the New Black. But today, we are going to talk about her new film, A Nice Girl Like You. Jackie, how are you today? Hi, good morning. I'm great. I usually am not a morning person, but ever since quarantine, I love getting up early and doing everything I have to do. So good morning. (laughs) (laughs) So this new film, talk to us a little bit. Give us a little synopsis and tell us about your character. Uh, It's just, you know, someone finding themselves through their sexuality and, um, you know, it's Lucy Hale's character. Um, her also her character name is Lucy, and um, my character. We're in like this quartet, and my character seems like she's had more experience, you know, in the sexual department, which is just like a normal girl, you know, that's right. not really afraid of sex. Because you know, me as 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 Jackie, sometimes you know, we put kind of like this wall over you, and kind of like. Uh, um, scared to talk about sex and um, but my character is not she's just like hey we're human beings he's guy I watch porn it's the same you know thing like you know I read erotica you know like it's it's kind of cool to talk about it in the mainstream media for women you know not to be afraid to to sexually express themselves a hundred percent and what exactly was it about this role that attracted you to the project? Was it the script? Was it the character? Um, yeah, the character was really cool because um, the script was amazing. I mean, um, the, it's based on a book called Porn Alley. And, um, you know, I wish they, they kept the name because it's just it's like, what are we talking about? And it's like the sex list. And it was like fun things that I never even tried. So it was really fun to go to like, you know, a class to teach you how to like, you know. Right. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know if you watched the movie, but. I did, I did. To teach you how to like, you know, satisfy, you know, certain Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) So it was kind of like really cool to like, wow, I thought I knew what I was doing, but I didn't. (laughs) What? (laughs) What was your favorite film to film with Lucy? Your favorite scene, I should say. I mean, I'm sorry. Scene? Yes. Uh, I would have to say the sex shop was really <laughs> dope. But, you know, um, back to the movie, you know, she put a, a lip gloss on that didn't wasn't supposed to be for the lips, and you know she got these huge like I got her like, blow up boyfriend, and we got to play with like dildos all day. Like I don't even know if I could do that. Can I? dildos yeah you can (laughs) (laughs) like three times now um yeah no I just think it was really fun and especially with Min, like the three of us together it was just like cracking each other up like you know putting it like everywhere like hey girl like it was just like we were 12 years old all over again (laughs) was there anything that was a little bit uncomfortable for you or was it just funny like I can only imagine the behind the scenes moments all the bloopers you guys no we went shopping I got a dick out it was amazing (laughs) I got like three (laughs) and then like like cute little sexy outfits like we got a, a discount so it was really cool to like you know, uh, <laughs> literally go, because I never really went into a sex shop like that and really, uh-huh. like, look around and, and buy things. Like, right. you know, like, for, for girls, it's you, like, what is she doing here? She must be a freak, you know? Right, right. But it's not just sexual beings, and, you know, sometimes we don't all have a boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> With that being said, why is it so important for women who might be a little bit shy sexually why do you think it's important for them to see this film? Listen, for me, like, I was raised Christian and, you know, sex was kind of seemed to be like, don't think about it until you're married, you know? So it right. was always like, oh my goodness, it's bad. Like, I shouldn't think about this. Like, doing these things are bad. But no, it's not. It's it's exploration of finding who you are because, like, that's a part of life. That's how we're both made, you know? So it's yep. like, I, I, I definitely be, be cool to like watch a movie that could make you do it yourself. I don't know. Like 
you know, explore going to a, 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 a sex shop or like, you know, seeing women differently when, when they're dancing in the, in the strip club, like that shit is hard work. You know what I mean? Like, and, and, and not judging, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like us women get judged a lot by being sexy or sexual. And, um, I feel like this movie makes you feel like, no, we're all the same. Like, okay. And, and, um, I think it's, it's, it's healthy to express yourself sexually and, and, and learn little things here and there. And especially through the mainstream media, like we never see this, especially someone like Lucy Hale, like Absolutely. You know, <laughs> holding <laughs> on to like, you know, a thing. Right. It's like, oh. I, no, I, I'm lying. Was teaching me how to like, hold on to it. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, it's so damn funny. Line. It's like my uh, Patrick Swayze. Interview. Yes, you know yes, I mean? yes, 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 yes. <laughs> you guys, this movie was, was so funny because like as a male watching this, it's funny too because we, I see the female perspective of like how you guys feel about certain things that like, you know, she might think it's a little bit taboo or shy or whatever. And so it's hysterical. And, and all the little innuendos and like, <laughs> her like clenching so that the balls don't drop like just so many funny moments um but absolutely so brilliant like I want to try that I never tried that like Lucy got to do more things than I did so I want to try that <laughs> and um the literature I mean that's just brilliant like yes like women start like I, women should start reading that and and you know try to like express themselves that way you know like you know in just all types of ways and you know she was judgmental in the beginning of the movie like oh it's either me or the porn and like right. that's not that's not real life though mm. you know what i mean like so said yeah I, like you said it's taboo you know yeah. it's a bit taboo so for women to to explore to talk about it to you know usually it's your girlfriend it was really cool to have a character like at here you know, be in there too, because he was a lot of fun, you know, yes. when, uh, I don't know if you saw the part where he went to this trip. Yes, uh, yes, yes, yes. And uh, he's like, what are you doing? You're, she didn't deserve a 20. Like, <laughs> you can't get changed from a stripper. Like, it's just hilarious. Like, those so moments. many. And he is so funny. Like, the whole, the whole movie, like, I was just having a blast. I shared a room with Mindy. We were on, on live on Instagram. Like, I even taught her that, I think, I think we did the first live in whole life together like it was just a really cool like non like judgmental like set you know what i mean fun i love, very I fun. love that i love that and i feel like a lot of people that watch this movie can relate to you know some characters and somehow whether you're the lucy or whether you're the nessa or whether you're you know the older woman who <laughs> has had that experience and is trying to revamp or whether you're you know the guy it's like it's it's so so funny and it's awesome that you know it's going to be able to impact at least someone who watches it yeah. right yeah. now i mean it impacted me like it just is like that's really cool like literally i i don't want to say i stole one because on set like <laughs> I ended up telling the directors, I'm like, I took two of those, but they were like, it's fine. But like, it was really cool. Like when we were like, you know, sitting down and, and actually one of the producers, Gina Frank, was in the movie. She was the one, you know, talking about, you know, you know, what Adir was there talking about like what everything is like, like those little balls that you put up there. And like, oh. you know, it was just so funny. Just all different type of women like like older women like all this is for everyone for everyone, everyone who like yeah it yeah. just you know and it's a romantic movie you know what i mean like finding her sexuality she, you know she was open to like being herself and she met someone who you know didn't judge her for everything she judged her ex-boyfriend for so it's just really cool you know it's i i loved it i love being a part of it i love that now you know you actually have some upcoming films as well. I know you're joining Tremors, which is super exciting because this is like the seventh or sixth one. Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong. The seventh yeah, one. The seventh. And I was a big fan of the first one. And then, you know, like, I was like, what? 
they, they want me for tremors. Like I was just, and it's in Thailand. Like, I'm not going to lie to you. That movie changed my life. I don't want to be that girl that's, oh, it changed my life. But it really did. Right. <laughs> it really did. Because I was going through a moment in my life and like going to Thailand where everything is like about gratitude. Like I left my phone in a restaurant. I found it like three days later because they believe, you know, in karma and they don't steal. Like the kids are so like, like, um, they're on, they honor the adults. Like, it's just so, so beautiful to watch this society just be so kind and spiritual and a beautiful place. Like I was going through, you know, a bad breakup. So I got to find myself, you know, sexually and <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I got to find myself, you know, uh, right. Again, <laughs> through a country and through through the people which was which was beautiful and now now I want to make it a tradition to go almost like every November to Thailand cuz I love you it. had you had your little eat pray love moment yeah it was like eat pray of me me yes. you know what i mean like it was just about me finally like i give attention to a lot of people when i'm in a relationship and i forget about myself so it was kind of cool to step out of that and like you know what? Like, I'm a great person. Like, love will find me. Why do I have to try so hard? So it was like, and then Period. I was focused in the movie and I got to do like action. I got to hold guns. I got to shoot guns. I got to, it was just a different kind of movie that I've never experienced in my life. And I'm so blessed because every movie that I've done, I look different in every one. So, you know, you've, you're going to see a little different part of me in every single, you know, film that I've done. You know, I did Lansky as well. And I got to do scenes with Harvey Keitel, improv with Harvey Keitel. So, you know, and I'm shooting a movie like in, next week too, because it's opening up. So I'm, I'm just, I feel really, really blessed. That's awesome. No, I mean, it's, it's pretty badass that you're joining, you know, that franchise and stuff. So we can't wait for that. Now, during quarantine, I know you've released music in the past. So during quarantine, has there been stuff that you're working on? Any some new music that yeah. we could expect in the future yeah, for you? Yeah, I just released right before quarantine, I feel like, right? Like, it was like, what the hell's going on? I, and everyone shut down. Like, I couldn't really, like, promote it. And it was like, right when quarantine started, I released my song, Be Bad. And mm -hmm. um, I, it's produced by my own production company, Unspoken Film. And uh, I directed the first, like, two minutes of it. And it's just about, like, you know, if Adam was Latino and God was Latino and like, you know, I made like a cute little like film about like, kind of like the men trying to separate women, like, you know, the supposedly Lilith didn't listen to Adam. So, you know, their God sent, you know, Eve to Adam because she'll listen. And in the end, she didn't listen either. <laughs> she ate the apple, right? So it's like, right. um, and, and then I, I kind of like, you know, tell the world like, they want to be bad not good but if we were if we were good to each other we would like it would be a woman's world you know what I mean like so at the end of my you know video it's me and Eve holding hands in a world where they wanted us to hate each other well that's a really interesting perspective thank you for explaining that to us you well it looks like you have a lot of exciting stuff can you tell us about that new project you're working on next week or not yet it's yeah um I believe it's on IMDb. It's called Switchgrass Through Midnight. It's starting, starring uh, Bruce Willis, Megan Fox, Emile Hirsch. And I get to work with like really cool characters. I actually went to high school with Emile, but we weren't in the same class. But like we, he would be in school with me. Like it was really cool. And then That's he crazy. got like a girl next door and it was like, he was like so cool, you know, in high school. So right. it's so fun that like I get to work with somebody that I was like, you know, in awe of in high school. So um, he's an incredible actor. Uh, uh, um, these moments in these movies where, you know, you haven't seen me do any of that. And uh, it's just it's like playing dress up and like expressing feelings that I don't get to express very often. And, um, and it, you know, Trevor also like to work with Johnny Heater love like Napoleon Dynamite like that was like my love interest that's crazy we had the time of our life he became my best friend like it's crazy he knew everything about me like it's just so cool how you can you know you, you got to be open 
to these people because you know you got to have that chemistry on you know on on, on screen in film so yeah on screen yeah so it's kind of cool just letting go and just being yourself all the time because usually we have that like brick wall they're like oh i don't want to show too much of me right. and that's what's cool about it, you know what i mean you get to be someone else and you get to like you know be bitchy be nice be be like you know depressed or something or be like you know an action hero all these things that your your alter ego wishes they could be like me and uh i get to do that like on film so it's really cool and that's the difference between acting and music cuz music for me is is who i am so i'm really shy singing it's me and then um i did it backwards you know like you know i made it people know me because of my acting but music has always been my first love so it's like you know kind of like singing and being vulnerable to my own those words that i'm saying are actually my words so it's 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 kind of scary but it's so beautiful so i get to that life by being myself which is being an artist a singer and i get to live a life of you know expressing myself through someone else's emotion but it's really cool you know i'm very i'm very blessed and i get to sit under my lemon tree and i feel like quarantine just made me like appreciate the moment and i feel like i'm always looking for something what's next what's next but you know um right now i appreciate my family and the moment and and what god has blessed me with and, and i'm not worried anymore i used to be worried so much especially with waitressing at lavo and i worked at um on, on orange is the new black for like three seasons still you know waitressing and and i was i don't belong here and like literally the world you know the universe helped me with my dream and i swear that if you don't give up and if you continue following your main goal like it's already written for you and stop worrying so much you know like just be the best you can be i'm not trying to be the army right now but like <laughs> absolutely it's it's wow that was that speaks volume thank you so much for for saying that because it's exactly what people need to hear i was literally about to say how blessed and appreciative and grateful um you seem and you took the words right out of my mouth you just like went on a whole thing expressing <laughs> gratitude but it's so important and you're absolutely mm-hmm. right this time of quarantine and it's a it's a, it's a time of contemplation where you really have this solitude to just not think of these external things that are going on around us and you can just really hone in on what is important to you like family friends following your dreams you know all the other stuff doesn't really matter it's just it's the small things that really do and i think this really made all of us realize that yeah absolutely and you know we take those small things for granted but like just sitting here you know being at home is 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 special you know what i mean yeah that's yeah. thailand thailand did that for me if you want to go to thailand i'm like a commercial for them because i i want to live there one day it's it's be- it's a beautiful place it's beautiful people and <clears throat> they showed me like gratitude and like like they every every time they have like a full moon they go into the ocean and you know give an offering to the ocean and ask for forgiveness for you know not being grateful and i i was like wow like that that like hit hard and and uh, like i went by myself like the craziest thing is that you know i had actors there but i don't really know all of them so like you know i hung out with john a lot but usually i was by myself so it was really cool to be by myself at night pulling myself in the ocean i wore like a long dress it was so romantic and i was by myself <laughs> Well, thank you. Thank you so much for sharing that experience with with us. I feel like now whoever watches this, we're all going to want to go to Thailand. Yeah, I know. Go. <laughs> yeah, I've actually always wanted to go, so I'm definitely going to consider it. Thank you. Put it thank on you your for, bucket list. For sure. Thank you so much for sharing, you know, these beautiful anecdotes um from your travels and your experiences and getting real and deep with us. that was really touching and thank you for talking and taking the time to talk with us yeah. about the film and your upcoming projects yeah thank you thank you for having me of course god bless and you have a blessed day thank you